good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 9th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And we've got some interesting features here on the sun to, sh the sun to show you today. That's right, that bright spot in the middle is the creation of a sunspot. Now that happened just on the earth-facing coronal hole right in the middle of it pretty crazy stuff that's probably about I don't know the size of 10 earths crazy stuff our Sun is a very very powerful star amazing footage So we do have a small geomagnetic watch as the coronal hole will be earth facing. We'll be expecting an uptick in seismicity over the next couple days. Just watching this spiral, all of the cosmic energy being thrown towards our little yellow planet there. That is earth. So in the coming days, Watch for an uptick in seismicity, that's for sure. And maybe an, an increase in the wind speeds in our atmosphere. Which is kind of not good because we've got quite a hurricane season that has ramped up, especially in the Atlantic. We're going to get to that in just a moment after looking at these images showing the cosmic energy coming towards our planet and here we're looking at the solar wind speed map so our wind speed is steady at about 400 kilometers per second this anomaly here was the 6.2 earthquake in Indonesia. Just wanted to point that out as well. Also looking over at the precipital water map, you can see the large storms forming. But you can also see a little bit of a manipulation in the atmosphere. This large man cut is gonna be a huge super typhoon of course, Hurricane Florence and two major storms brewing behind her. A lot of really warm air coming off of Africa. I want to thank you for joining me today. Daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. This was a look at the precipital water map from around the world showing you the major systems and temperatures. So here we're looking at Tropical Storm Florence, which most likely will be a Category 5 hurricane when it hits South Carolina and North Carolina. So batten down your hatches, Carolina states, Hurricane Florence is on her way. And two other large storms behind her the second, first one is Isaac heading straight towards the Caribbean. And then we have Helene right behind Isaac. And looks like it'll be taking the same track as Florence did, if not take, taking a beeline for the north. High pressure ridge might stop that. So yes, we have six tropical cyclones spinning on our planet right now and Mankut is going to be the biggest the strongest and the wettest so stay aware and prepared because it ain't over yet these storms are going to get bigger and stronger and more moisturous we have a cooling planet right now due to a lot of various things 
One of them is the volcanic activity that we've had over the past even five years is really increasing the cloud cover worldwide. Looking at these large low pressure, this large low pressure system here, watch for an uptick in seismicity later on in the week, Alaskan Peninsula, as this large low pressure system heads into the Alaskan Peninsula. It doesn't seem to really go anywhere for a few days, and then all of a sudden it gets pushed north. Watching the track here. So yes, and looking at Alberta, we've got some snow coming folks, possibly 20 to 30 centimeters falling at Grand Prairie. And look at all this snow coming. It is gonna go all the way down to the Canadian or to the American border. So later on next week, watch for snow in Alberta, most likely all of, all of, all of Alberta. Winter is arriving soon a uh, crazy picture i shared on my facebook page and my morning do daily events worldwide page uh, four years ago today uh, calgary alberta had a pretty nasty storm and we had leaves all over the trees in this city still massive storm dumped i don't know four inches of wet snow and we lost almost three hundred thousand old trees in this city due to that storm share that picture at the end here but yeah I just wanted to go over earthquakes as well we did have some minor earthquakes in western parts of North America Bandon or and Bandon Oregon we also had weird 4.3 in the North Pole I just want to refresh here so yeah, most recent action is the Alaskan Peninsula. A lot of deep earthquakes today in Fiji, still. A lot of very deep earthquakes recently. And I'm wondering if that's planetary conjunction or crustal shifting. Not really sure. But looking at these 4.0s around the world, they seem to be popping off everywhere. 4.7 here in Peru and another one Easter Island 4.5 down here and also Guatemala popping off a 4.1 so here we are the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world and you can see there are a lot of deep ones so watch for larger shallow earthquakes in the coming days especially with our geomagnetic watch from the sun thanks for watching today this has been mike with morning dew daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks for watching bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.